In this video, I'm gonna cover 100 ultra-effective fundraising ideas. I'm gonna cover quick and inexpensive ideas, contest ideas, event ideas, ideas for kids, online ideas, raffle ideas, and a few ideas at the end that I think are super fun for you to try. Plus, all these ideas are ones that I've heard of or seen proven to generate a positive return from nonprofits we've worked with over the years. My name is Tatiana, and I'm from Wild Africa, where we make membership software used by over 25,000 organizations in the US. Let's start with 14 quick and inexpensive ideas. So let's start with idea number one, envelope at a restaurant. With this idea, you can collaborate with a local restaurant to leave envelopes on their tables and ask people to leave a little extra change for your cause right in here. Community recipe book. Compile your coworkers' best family recipes into one book and sell them around the office. VIP parking spot. If there's that one spot that everyone wants in the parking lot, consider holding an auction. The highest bidder gets first dibs for the whole month. Phonathon. Hi, I'm calling to ask for donations on behalf of XYZ Charity. Direct mailing campaign. Most people don't get personalized letters in the mail anymore, so this can be a great way to stand out. Dress down day. People can pay a few extra bucks to come in jeans to the office. Shaving time. Raise money to shave a mustache, beard, or even go bald. <laughs> or do the opposite and hold a grow your hair challenge. Whenever someone gets a haircut, they have to donate $10. The last one to grow their hair the longest wins. Clearly, that wasn't me. Money rolls. Hand out money rolls to your coworkers, friends, and family and have them return them when they're full. Quarter mile. Line up as many quarters as you can to stretch a mile. That's over 66,000 quarters. Can by the register. Ask local businesses if you can place a can by their till where people can drop in their loose change. Charity calendar. Make your own themed calendar and sell them for a donation. T-shirt sale. Design some t-shirts and sell them around. Chocolate sale. Get some bulk chocolate bars and sell them wherever people like chocolate, which is pretty much everywhere. Now, let's move on to contest fundraising ideas. Let's start with the cutest pet contest. Charge a fee for coworkers to anonymously submit and vote on pictures of the cutest pet. Baby photo contest. Same idea as pets, but this time for babies. Or you could just do a photography contest. Hockey puck shoot. Get some hockey sticks, set up a net, and charge people a buck a shot to hit it. Free throw challenge. If you have access to a basketball net, charge people five bucks to get in and to get as many points as they can in three minutes. Pumpkin carving contest. I'm sure you can do better than this one. Charge people an entry fee with the best carved pumpkin getting a little bit of that prize money. Balloon dart toss. All you need for this one is some balloons and some darts. Some similar ideas are milk jug ring toss, pie in the face toss, paper airplane toss, horseshoe toss, and cornhole toss. Bedpan water race. People have to run a course without spilling any water. The fastest time wins. Penny wars. Divide people into two teams with the one collecting the most pennies winning. Hold a dance-a-thon. During the holidays, set up a table at work and hold a gift wrapping fundraiser. Or during the fall, partner with a farm and create a corn maze fundraiser. You can also host a best ugly sweater party. And of course there's the classic, guess the jelly beans. I don't know how many are in here. So that was 19 contest fundraising ideas. So now let's move on to event fundraising ideas. Relay. Hold your organization's own version of the Relay for Life. It can be done through running, biking, or even kayaking. Whatever fits best with your demographic in your area. Hold the car wash. Put on a movie night. Gather your neighborhood to put on a community yard sale. You can also host an office garage sale where people bring in unwanted items and swap them for a fee. Get all your crafty friends together and create a craft show. Hold a classic run or walk. Hold a talent show. Or how about a karaoke night? Get a dunk tank. Go out and get a giant slip and slide and take over your local sports field. Invite all the kids in your neighborhood. Set up a scavenger hunt around the neighborhood. Or hold a Kid Olympics with events like Relay Tic-Tac-Toe, Three-Legged Race, and Beanbag Toss. You can also consider holding some Office Olympics for the adults too. You can host a murder mystery dinner party for all your friends. Clothing Swap. Get your employees to bring in old or unwanted clothing items and charge a fee to swap them. How about a book sale? Hold a garden and plant sale. 
Better yet, hold a succulent sale. Everyone loves these little guys. Host a pancake breakfast, or a pizza lunch, or a spaghetti dinner, and have an ice cream social to finish it all off. Host a DIY drive-in theater. All you need is an outdoor projector. Get in touch with your local golf course and hold a golf tournament. You can also hold a poker tournament. Or, if there's a really tall building in town, you can get in touch with their management and coordinate a stair climb fundraiser. If you know someone at the pool, host a pool party barbecue. Host a silent auction. Put on a trivia night. Or what about a board game night after work? Have a chili cook-off. Or how about any kind of bake-off? Or what about just hosting an office potluck lunch? During the chilly winter months, coordinate a polar bear plunge. Ghost tour. Host a night tour of the spooky side of your city and have someone good at storytelling share the spooky history of your surroundings. Bingo nights are always a classic. Put on a neighborhood pet wash. Round up some old chinaware at your local thrift shop and charge a fee to smash some plates. So far we've covered 72 fundraising ideas, so we're more than halfway through. Next up is fundraising ideas for kids. Lego night. Round up as much Lego as you can and have kids enter for a fee to build their best creation. Petting zoo. Partner with your local SPCA or farm and organize a little petting zoo. Carnation sale. This one works great in schools. Buy bunches of carnations and let kids buy individual ones to bring home to their parents or friends. A sandcastle building competition. Or what about an Easter egg hunt? What about a lemonade stand? You could also go to your local park and set up a face painting booth. Candy grams. During a holiday like Valentine's, students can pay to send a note and candy to another student. Readathon. Here children get friends and family to sponsor them for every book they read in a month. And what kid doesn't love a good old fashioned sleepover party? Check out your local movie theater, science center, or museum to see if they offer this kind of event. And now, let's keep moving to some great online fundraising ideas. Text to give. If you haven't heard of a text to give campaign, it's quite simple. There are websites like text to give and Snowball that allow you to send out mass texts to all your contacts with simple instructions on how to donate to your cause. Facebook ads. You can use Facebook ads to encourage people to donate, to direct them to your website, or to sign up for your event. These can cost as much or as little as your budget allows. The more money you put into an advert, the more people who will see it on their Facebook feed. Or how about Google ads? If you haven't gotten one yet, Google will even give you a $10,000 ad grant for free every month if you're a registered nonprofit. Crowdfunding page. Crowdfunding websites like Kickstarter or Indiegogo are great for times when you have a specific project you're working towards. They're a simple way for people to donate online, to see your progress, and to see how their money made a difference. Just set up your campaign, share the link on your website, social media, and email. Social Media Blitz. Have a day where your social media is focused exclusively on one donation campaign. You can prepare video testimonials in advance to post that day, have a giveaway to drive interest, and do shout outs to people who donate throughout the day. Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Create a short video asking for donations and what they'll be used for, and then ask 25 friends to send it to 25 other friends. Ask a local celebrity or news personality to make personalized video messages for $5. There's even a website that helps you set this up called cameo.com. Add your organization's logo to merchandise, like hats and t-shirts, and set up an online store. Amazon Smile. If you can get your supporters to sign up for Amazon Smile, your organization will get 0.5% with every purchase they make. Although it's not a big amount, promoting it won't be a lot of work for your organization, and hey, even small amounts add up eventually. That's it for online fundraising ideas. Now we're gonna be up with some great raffle ideas. The classic 50-50 raffle is always a good one to start off with. Vacation day raffle. Make a deal with HR to raffle off a free vacation day at work. Treasure cupcakes. This is a great way to boost your bake sale profits and charge more per cupcake. When baking your cupcakes, hide some tickets inside them that can be redeemed for prizes. Fill a room in the office with balloons and charge $3 to pop them. One lucky winner will recover a ticket that gets half the proceeds. Now we're in the home stretch. I saved these last few fundraising ideas for last because they're super fun. The first one, which can be quite hilarious, is a singing telegram. In this case, you round up donations to send someone a silly singing telegram for their birthday, anniversary, or any other special day. Chauffeur for the day. Ask volunteers to give up a few hours to drive around some lucky souls to wherever takes their fancy. This could also be a great raffle or auction prize. 
Yoga with Animals. Yoga with Kittens and Goats, to name just a few, is all the rage right now, so why not set it up yourself? Okay, so this one speaks for itself, and it's called Duct Tape the Boss. And the last fundraising idea is a good old-fashioned, messy and hilarious hot dog eating challenge, which I'm not going to do right now. So that was 100 fundraising ideas. I hope you've written down a few that you want to try out yourself. And if that wasn't enough, check out our list of over 200 fundraising ideas, that's over 100 more, that I've seen work for nonprofits, and that's linked to in the bottom of this video. And if you're a membership organization who's looking for a way to collect donations online, I've also included a link to a 30-day free trial of Wild Apricot, our software. It makes this really easy, so make sure you check that out. And you know, if you want more tips on how to grow your organization, please like this video and subscribe. That's all for now.